we got to be a whole lot closer than we are because we're out of time. Good morning. Another weekend back on Grizz. So we got Dusty here today, always making fun of me. So that's what little brothers do best. And then we got Caden over here and Kian. Hi. We got uh, quite a bit going on. So there's a ton to do to get ready for the off-road games. Just trying to get as much done as we possibly can. Ian's over here working on these winch mounts still on the boom. So you can see we got a lot of structure added to those. And he's making the last piece there. Yep. Get so we ready got to weld that in. Yeah, we got the two plates on the back. One plate on the other winch on the front that I'm gonna have to cut and tweak. It looks terrible. I'll just leave it at that. So I'm making this one correct so I know what to make the other one look like. So <laughs> terrible is a pretty strong word. It's well, just not right. It's, it's yeah, not okay. It's, it's not right. Not I wouldn't say horrendous, but it's it's fine. Yeah, it's good. I think if we finish building it how it is, it it'll probably look terrible. Be. Yeah, if we, <laughs> if we continue down the path. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. So, so yep, yeah, but a little bit of uh, work with this one and then a death build to the other one and we should be good. Perfect. Yeah, that'll, that'll work out good. It should take a lot of time to correct that. No, no, it shouldn't. So, yeah. and then we can uh, continue getting this going a few more hours and hopefully we'll be ready for some winches to bolt on. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, speaking of winches, Harbor Freight dropped off five more winches for me yesterday. Big thanks to them. We'll get, get some of those going on here shortly. So now, Caden is over here working on this tubing roller. We've pretty much been working on this since uh, since we realized it wasn't going to work at all the way it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been quite a uh, quite a game here. About the only thing we're reusing on the whole tubing roller that you saw in that last video is that these two pieces and they are getting seriously revised so we opened up this hole opened up these holes so that we could use some better dyes on them of course one thing leads to another we had to make a new yoke piece for the center with all of that that's so big now we're gonna have to add to these plates to make it all work and all of this just so we can have a power attachment on there. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll get back to you as to whether or not it was worth all the struggle. We'll have a lot of hours and a fair amount of money tied up in it, but but hopefully it works and it'll all be good. I, yeah. uh, I was telling them I think it might've been less work to just build one from scratch. <laughs> yeah, it probably would have been. It probably would have been. Well, the, the one nice thing about this is we actually had something yeah, we had something to uh, start with so we could figure out what it was we didn't know. Yeah. And we didn't know a lot. But now we know what questions to answer and now we know what to do. So, but yeah. Caden's got this sitting on a piece of poster board so he can kind of draw out what it is we need to do to, uh, to add to this. And when he's done drawing, that'll be his template. And we'll just add 3 16 to this and that should make it what we need. And hopefully, Time we get those pieces made, get it all bolted together, we may have something usable. We should. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. It'll be. Yeah, I, I hope we don't have to put this whole thing in the tuition pile, but anything's <laughs> possible. Cool. Yeah, it'll look, it'll look like we did something, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Dusty I'm is over here. here working on the transfer case. We. Pulled that back out so we could get the uh, shifter stuff going on there. Oh, hey, that's how that all goes. Oh, okay. I Dusty just, just, just knew how to. It. I just figured it out on my did, own. Did you? Mm -hmm. Sweet. It yeah. looks good. I'm. I'm glad you're doing this because I didn't have a clue. Maybe yeah. I may have looked at the instructions. It looks like they're. I got a nice picture. They are. I didn't read a word. Just so we. Know we like pictures. Clear. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have patience enough to read the words. No. That takes time to process yep. and stuff. So. You just look at pictures. Yeah. Okay. Turn it around three or four times till it looks like it fits right. <laughs> yep. We'll put it in and out three or four times and realize it doesn't work. Okay. And sure perfect. We read the instructions. But yeah. We'll <laughs> That's the way we work. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. All new yeah. to us. So. Yep. You guys at home that have done this a hundred times, you're back on your computer making fun of us and that's okay so <laughs> I'd be doing the same thing
sleeping room. Just, this that looks right like a, do you know what that looks like laid out like that? I don't. It looks like an Atari symbol. In fact, no, it looks like a tire carrier. Oh, a baby one, huh? Yeah. Yep. I was like, are we putting a tire carrier on the back of this? Nope. No. Nope. We're putting the Atari symbol together for our, so we can roll some tubing. I do see the Atari symbol. Yep. <laughs> Paper's gone. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It doesn't smell at all. <laughs> you uh, trying to make a campfire over there? Bitch. You know mom hates the smell of campfires, right? She used behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, that's why she's over there. I think I hate the smell worse when you put it out. Yeah. Definitely. I think I fixed this. What I was saying that didn't look very good is this was right here. Oh, it's still a little warm. And it was on the bottom of that. So the angles of the two pieces were kind of like this. So I needed to trim them up so they were the same. So that when we plate the bottom, it looks right good. So. Very good. Yep. See if this will go in. We can get this to go in a ways. Oh, go. go a ways further. bit of a snafu we hear the uh, tap broke off when the case was made they didn't tap th the threads in these pipe fittings very deep so we could only get the fitting to go in like two turns so it sat up about I don't know over an inch off of the top of the case and so it was hitting the floor we thought it would be no big deal just to tap it a little deeper so we get the fitting to go in and but the uh, tap caught in the aluminum and that was the end of that everything came back out back apart and then we're gonna have to take a torch and just blow the center out of this tap this really hard steel it's super easy with a torch to blow it out i'm not too worried about the aluminum the aluminum's so thick that we're not gonna even if we nick a thread it's not gonna hurt anything so we'll get that handled then we'll throw this back together and hopefully we can get a fitting to fit in tight enough that it'll clear the floor then we yeah. can go back to where we were yeah yeah, an hour and a half ago. Yep, so we had to eat lunch and think about life and the meaning of life and <laughs> everything else. <Yeah>. And <laughs> it's just all the usual stuff when you break a uh, tap. Well, anyway, here we go. <laughs> Did 
We're still going. Yeah. No, it looks like we just about got her all the way through there. Is this the ends of the top or left? Yeah, it's probably. Just to break her up now. Smells like barbecue in here. Yep. Oh yeah, it stinks. It's those are so some. <laughs> those are some old gloves. I think those. Yeah, those, those like... gloves are older than Caden. Yeah, you just yeah. totally ruined it. Yeah, like, it's, those have been. Yeah. Yeah, those are old. I had those at the old house. Okay, I think we're good. If I would have just pulled it out that last time, it probably would have been just right. How far did you end up going in with that tap? Probably another two turns. Oh yeah, that was about where I broke it a bit. Yeah, probably. Because it was in there quite a ways. It was. Got it all torched out. As you can see, we didn't even make a mark on the threads. I just blew the center out and then took a screwdriver and a small hammer and and uh, broke it up into small pieces, pushed it out the bottom. But yeah, it didn't hurt anything. Just took a little extra time and and uh, destroyed a set of gloves protecting the inside of it. But yeah, whatever, no big deal. We got this fitting to drop down as far as we need it to. And now we'll get this all put back together, get it put back in, we move on. Yeah, go back to where we were. Yeah. Well, while everybody else has been doing their stuff, I've been trying to get a little bit of a start on this fuel tank. This piece right here is the bottom of the tank. This will be the very bottom, um, and then it'll bend up towards the back of the frame. This part of the tank will hang about five inches below the bottom of the frame. I put a little bit of a bend there to kind of slope it up towards the rear bumper and then the, up by the rear bumper it'll hang down about an inch below the back bumper there. This is 090 aluminum. It's a little bit thicker than what the sheet metal brake is rated for. Eh, I've been doing it this way anyway so one of these days it's going to break but hopefully not today. So I got marks right here so I can make like uh, you know eight or ten degree bends maybe a little more on each on each mark and then I can equally bend it to make a fairly nice radius Okay. All right, I think I got it. I bent it too far. I uh, went on autopilot and made that band 90 degrees to that one, but it needed to be 90 degrees to this. So had to straighten her out a little bit, and uh, but I think it'll be okay. See how it fits in the truck, and then I'll be able to move to the next piece. Got her all uh, oiled back up, huh? Yeah, she's ready to go back in. Sweet. Back to where we were a couple hours ago. Yeah. Again. <laughs> well, at least it's a pretty easy deal to do, so. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, that works. Not bad. Yeah. Yep, she's ready to go in whenever somebody's got it. Okay. A minute. All right. I'll go put this piece down and, and uh, we'll get that back on the transmission jack and see if she'll fit this time. I think so. I think we've got this thing dropped down there low enough for that tonight. Yeah, hopefully. Well, they got a big hammer now, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're out of options and we're not breaking any more stuff. <laughs> Agreed. Dang thing. Yeah. All right. It's looking down on you. All right. Yeah, we're used to it. Yeah, we're used to it. We live our lives in the gutter, so. <laughs> Everybody's always looking they're down their nose. Uh, yeah. Did you add that plug? Yep. 
That's where we're gonna fill it at. Oh, because it was here originally, but now it's clocked out. Yep. Mm. 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 Within their own spot. Yeah. I may have not clocked it when I put it together right. Uh, let's see how much we can put in Chad's way and piss him off today. My word. <laughs> Just trying to get this stud out. I can't believe how good this balance is. Yeah, it does. It really does once you get it kind of in there. Yeah, we need to pull her out just a second more. Here we go there. Oh, careful. Um, we need to go down just like a tap. Right there. That's it. That's it, where we want it? Yeah, we just gotta make sure all the other holes line up. Yeah. So I have to probably grab a... If you wanna hold this, Dusty, I can grab a mirror. Or well, I'll just grab a bolt. Oh, that's true. Can you get a bolt going in? Uh, yeah, I got um, in all of them except for the, like, the bottom one. I couldn't get my fingers. Oh He's yeah, it's lined up now. dead center. So everything. Okay. That's it. I'm kind of wondering what's happening, but we just need Tyson here and then Chad doesn't have to work. Yeah, Tyson, where are you? Why aren't you here building this fuel tank for me? So. <laughs> He's actually at his real job. <laughs> They're working him too hard, so mean, so I can't work him too hard. You mean this isn't a real job? <laughs> Depends on what team you're on. Oh. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. So we're on the team that it is a real job, then. Yeah. These are uh, some battery tray pieces that we're gonna get cleaned up and repainted because, as you can see, the paint isn't really stuck. Yeah, they kind of look a little horrible at the moment. Yeah, they're cheap, so. It was a steal. Not my wallet, but I still think it was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Whose wallet was it? It was yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say it if he didn't. So. <laughs> my wallet. <huh>? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. All right, it's getting fairly late in the day. Caden went home, but uh, he got quite a bit done. He was able to build all these uh, pieces for the for our tubing roller, just to kind of uh, strengthen it and then make it big enough for that big old thing right there. We'll have a bottle jack up in the top that'll push on this, and then our idlers will sit here and here, similar to what they were. I'll have a ton of welding to do on that, get that all taken care of. But what Caden did looks really nice and uh, will make it really easy for me to weld. And then I'm back here, still kind of tinkering on this fuel tank. I got the one end tacked onto it and I've got the other end cut and ready to, to uh, fit to the tank. And I'll get it tacked here shortly. Dusty is over here building the cross member. Do you want some pieces to so show them? Yeah. Real quick? Yeah, we like show and tell. Yeah. Visual aids are always a good thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Something like that. And then, you know, so on and so forth. Yep. And that cross member will bolt to the frame to make it easy to get in and out. So all this, all this mount's gonna do is just support the weight that's hanging off of the back of the trance. So hopefully we don't break the back of the transmission off. That'd be nice. Yeah. It is heavy, by the way. Just so yeah, it on. is heavy. <laughs> Would we have that in and out like six times today? Yeah, I don't know if we need to keep doing that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, well. well, we just as well laugh about it yeah, now. So. Yeah, Right. <laughs> what else do you do? But yeah, that's right. So nope. Outcome's good, so that's nope. all we need. It's done. Yep. That part. Yep.
Another new day in the shop. Back at it, trying to finish up some stuff that we were working on yesterday. And then I'm laying out the top part of the fuel tank here. Lots of cutting and lots of bending on that. And lots of ways I can mess that up. I do have another uh, piece of material in the garage, so when I do mess it up, I'm not totally out of luck. Got Tyson here today. And uh, he's over here working on this cross member, filling in where Dusty left it off last night. Uh, we got the plates made to go on the frame. And uh, we're just about ready to weld this all together now. That's warm. That's not bad. I don't have any blisters, so not You're too bad. Than me. <laughs> just more brain dead. <laughs> Good or. And then I got Caden over here as well. He's over here working on the Godzilla. <laughs> And uh... <laughs> Come on, Tyson. <laughs> You're not in the spotlight here. <laughs> Spot he's always got something. He's always got something going on behind the scenes here. So. <laughs> yeah, he does. Uh, so we're getting the engine closer to getting ready to fire up. So he just spun a new filter on it, and uh, he's got a fitting right there. Yeah, I don't know if you can right see it right there. Yep. Um, and he's gonna hook a hose up to that. We're gonna prime this engine, probably pump a gallon or so through that, just to make sure everything's all good to go before we fire it up for the first time. Tomorrow, today, later today? <laughs> I wish. Afternoon? Yeah. Oh, I wish, yeah. yeah. We're getting closer. We so. are getting closer. Yeah, oh. so. No. I know. <laughs> I know. You know. We keep saying that every day. We're well, closer. we are getting closer every day. Yeah, so. yeah it's a good thing. because by any means. Yeah, we're. It's a good thing we got to be a whole lot closer than we are because we're out of time. Plenty Thinking about happier things here. Plenty so. of time. Yep. Plenty of time. Yep. Um, so today we're hoping to get going on the headache rack um, after we get that cross member wrapped up. Just uh, whatever odds and ends that uh, strike our fancy today. But we are definitely running out of time. So we're trying to prioritize what we do and don't get done before so don't worry there'll be a lot of things that don't get done well well okay well guess we're back to it If you want to weld that in, then yep. I'll grind it. Okay. Whatever. Sweet. There's like about a 20% chance of success on this, so. I have faith. I do too, about 20% chance. <laughs> now we're gonna go to 60 degrees. <clears throat> Is that bowl thingy you got there that you're using just because it's so much leverage with the thicker aluminum? Yep. It's my special tool. It's yep. my special <laughs> sheet metal break destroying tool. It doesn't look like it. It looks like a... <laughs> looks like a piece of scrap. <laughs> Got off with a ball joint on it. it. Looks like it has a ball joint on the end. It does. It was a mock-up high rod end or something. That had. <laughs> but it works perfect. Hey! <laughs> Is that what you're aiming for? Um... Maybe? <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah, check back after I've ruined this panel. <laughs> Hopefully not. Left extra material because I didn't know exactly how it was going to look in the corners. So now I'm just cutting them. I think it's going to work. I think it might. It just might. Bye, Dolly. <laughs> Caden's over here making a bunch of holes. Yep. Well, that one's done. You can look at that one. Oh, that looks pretty. Grove some yeah, cutting, covered. Cutting oil. And then we got yeah. Dusty and Tyson. We're painting. We're just painting, you know. You're like Mario and Luigi. 
Aren't they plumbers? Yeah, yeah but they are plumbers. They're plumbers. They're painters. They're plumbers. See, I thought they were painters on part of it too. Aren't they painters too? I they're plumbers. Yeah, they can't do whatever they want. Do they? Yeah. Maybe I'm far behind. I don't know. See how many video games we play. <laughs> I just watched the movie. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't even know there was a movie. Uh, don't yeah. worry about it. Never seen it. You didn't see it? Nope. Hi. 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 She's getting pushy. She's putting paint in my hair. It's fine. You need to shower at some point. That'd be great. Nope. Shove Dusty when we're trying to paint this, yeah. and then Chad will yell at us for I, having I runs in it. I did not intend to shove Dusty. Well, you wasn't know what? I consequences, Stacey. There's consequences for your actions. Sometimes you don't sure see them I'm pretty sure that's in my hair, dork. Huh? It's not. I can't. Sorry, Dusty Dusty. It's okay. Yeah. Blame it on Tyson, I guess. I would. How you gonna... Oh, it's already can. This is a good paint. It costs like a stupid amount. How's that? How much is this stuff? Twenty three dollars a can. You got me just spraying it on cardboard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why I said that's the expensive stuff. Well, I'm glad actually, Stacy pays the bills. Yeah. It's actually cheaper in practice. Just because it has so much more code of ability. Yeah. So many more solids in it. I wonder what is being said in his head. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you no, really we want to know? We don't. We don't. I was gonna say, we don't want to go there. You should there. probably be careful, careful what, what you, you ask for. Yeah. Well, we got a lot of this handled under here. We got the drive lines in. Big thanks to Adam's drive shafts for getting those down and getting them out to us so fast. Those look awesome. They fit good. Dusty and Tyson got this cross member all finished up. It's all bolted in, supporting the weight of the transfer case. And uh, we got the back of this all painted. Radius arms are painted. Everything's all touched up. I'll need to get the muffler in and finish this right here, but I'll do that a little later. So we're gonna get this dropped down and uh, see what we can do with the uh, headache rack, get started on that. I'd like to have the headache rack fairly well finished up and just tacked in place to the frame. And then when it's done, we'll pull it out and paint the back of the cab. And then when the cab's painted, we'll get the headache rack in for good. We'll get it down, get uh, Dusty and Tyson started on that. I'm still working on this crazy fuel tank. Lots to do, still. I'll take two seconds before, man. You can find it. Are you going, Caden, or are you afraid? Well, it just is like taking the piece and going well, and, then, and then when you bottom it, it will flatten back out. Oh, okay, so you just go and? Yeah, you just go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, just watch the toes. <laughs> See? Sweet. Cool. Pretty slick, huh? It's kind of fun to watch, too. It's yeah. fun to do. Yeah. See why we don't need three sixteenths? Might need just a little bit more on that one. What do you uh, mean why you don't want three sixteenths? Because well, the spacing needs to buy us a four. Yeah. Oh, three sixteenths plate? Yeah. 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 Because the press isn't big enough? 
Okay, I guess that's it. He's just straightening itself back out a little bit more. Yeah, you need a 40 ton to do. Stacy, can you order us a 40 ton? Where are you going to put it? Uh, right there. Right there. We'll just, just swap trade. the 20 yeah, to the 40? Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, we'll just we'll get a 50 ton. So. Oh, is that what you need? Is a 50 ton. instead of a 40? Yeah, 50. So if you're gonna do it, we might as well yeah. make the most of your money. So that's what I think. Yeah. Maybe for your next birthday. Yeah. Oh. No, Mother's Day's coming Mother's up. Day's coming up. What I need? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. 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 I love you so much. Why don't you just go ahead and go buy yourself a 50-ton press for Mother's Day? Aww. <laughs> and put it from all the kids. Even yeah, kids. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The other side, yep. Ooh. It's got a nice, uh, it's got a bit of a That's some big too. old dimple dies. Yeah. yeah. A bit of a smiley. Yeah, it's uh, quite a smiley now, but. But yeah, welding it'll go back up. Weld it, weld it, Fairly cool. <laughs> this is gonna look awesome. Yeah. Good work, Katie. Hey, it yeah, kind of looks like a little stoplight. We could put some red, <laughs> green, and yellows in there. Just put oranges in it. Yeah. <laughs> You can weld it, yes you can. Oh, what the fudge? What? Oh yeah, I just Oh, it did totally move. Let's uh, cut that. Uh, now we're gonna have to clamp that clamp piece this. too. It bonged it that right out. out. Yeah, it did. Yeah. I felt it too. I mean, I started clear over here and got up here and it. Oh wow. Yeah. I guess I should have started over in this edge. But... Oh yeah, for sure. It's all right. We got one of these. So probably when you get that squared up, yeah, we'll work right there. Uh, okay. yeah. Do you think clamping it will hold? No, or you we'll want just weld it. it. Just weld it. Okay. Okay. That'll hold it. You kind of be a jig for each other. Just start with the pack on the end. Once you get that pulled to place, um, rather than tack it here, just tack it on the end. Okay. Is that good? Looks good to me. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, now go ahead and just weld the, the insides of the insides of both of them. Do we want to tack these this end just for? Fun, uh, probably should. Might, Might as well. well. I'm yeah. Doing it. And then yeah. I got everything else planned pretty good. Mm -hmm. We've got a brand new full wire, brand new bomb lard on, so. Yeah, we'll weld it. Yeah, we can put, put that piece right of, uh, put that piece of, we could actually take that piece of braiding, yeah, put over it. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a nice little, uh, hose mender piece there. Yeah, that's an exception. I like it. I paid an earlier prime the oil system through the oil pan. Well, it turns out that's a return port. Oh, that no. uh, that's what it's got to be. Yeah, because it, it never pressure. They never build any oil pressure, so so that's kind of weird that they would have a fitting on the oil pan for a drain port. So I guess that's where the oil pressure solenoid drains into, just where they would have a fitting there. Yeah, that's true. 
what we ended up doing since we still had the blower off is pull the oil pressure sender out of the back of the block there you can see it right there with it plugged in and uh, we pressurized it he only put five ports in through the pan so we put another five through <laughs> through that this motor holds 10 quarts of oil so it uh, thinks it's a diesel, I guess. And I'll let it believe it's a diesel. So yeah, we've been work, working on this upper radiator hose. We got that all taken care of. Um, when you get, Aiden, when you get the get this on, uh, make sure you mark it so that yeah. these are clocked right. Because once we get those shrinky clamps on there, there isn't any moving up, so. Yeah, I, <laughs> so, and they're impressive. Yeah, times. they are, I really like them. You don't ever have to worry about them leaking. Yep. And when they get the hot, they shrink even more. That's true. Yeah. We're going to have two more things dropped off of this. I didn't think that an upper radio. Was upper radio? I don't know. Let's see. My cooling system. Oh, maybe. I thought I had upper radio. Oh, radiator hoses. The bottom one's done. Oh, cool. Man. Oh, BT. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Hey. Say Bravo team, that sounds better. Bravo team? Yeah, don't cut yourself short. <laughs> I wasn't assigned it, but. <laughs> I could hear the disdain in your voice. Yay, B team. <laughs> so he's come a long way since he's worked with the A team. <laughs> so he'll finish off nice, I'm sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We got yeah, he, uh, we're gonna, you know. Yeah, careful, Tyson. You guys gotta watch out for those quiet guys. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> his partner though, we got a good chore for him on Monday. He gets to put the drawer with all these clamps away. Oh yeah, he's gotta organize all of that, huh? Yeah, yeah nobody told him he had to do that before he could go home, so. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what? Oh, nobody did tell you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I was just about ready to call Jenna and give her the assignment too. I so, would oh. make your other partner do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what we gotta do. We need to get part time over here to do that. Thing. It works for me. He's always <laughs> complaining about it. Because <laughs> it hasn't gotten hot enough to even shrink on the end there. Yeah, this one's just started to shrink, so and that'll be permanent attachment. Hey, look at that. The other one looks better. Really? Well, this one like needs to just come in just a little bit. Oh, we just need to grind that inside yeah, edge. Yeah, but that one sits perfect. Like everything sits perfect. This one's super close to being there, but this one just was... Oh. It don't, that's just my toe. Okay. That's your toe. Yeah, I thought about catching it, and I was like, nah, we'll let the floor we'll catch that one. That, that one is perfect. Six. It actually sits there pretty nice, too. It was sitting there while Tyson was grinding that whole time. Oh yeah, look at that. It lines up perfect, perfect. with the drip rail right yeah, there. You look, at the, yeah. look at that. That's and awesome. The, the edge of the back window, same angle. Yeah, same angle. And then from the from the front, you don't even see the side, but you... Yeah, oh, that looks perfect. Top, it looks really cool. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, it's a headache rack, and there's no such thing as a sexy headache rack, but... No, but we can sexy it up. Yeah. We can lipstick it up a little, huh? I like it. This looks really good. Oh, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm... That's... Yeah, that's exactly what I was hoping for, so... And I think when we get that top piece back from being bent... Rolled across the top. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Good job. Yeah, that's a couple points above the B team. So, yep. He's still trying to just warm things up. Okay. Lines up really good with that. That puts the cap on another productive weekend. We did get quite a lot done. Most of it was underneath, so you can't really see much difference. Besides maybe the tubes on the headache rack there. But we did get a lot of odds and ends wrapped up and a lot of things that uh, ate a lot of time. I did get the 
quite a bit of progress on the fuel tank. Just need to build the baffles for the inside of it and weld the corners of the top of the tank together before it goes on. Well, we're out of time now. We gotta get everything cleaned up in the shop so we can go back to work on the customer stuff. Till next time, remember, you haven't actually failed until you stop trying. Thanks for watching.